You're done, no. Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. So this week, I've kind of been playing around with some more drugstore products, more specifically more Makeup Revolution products because they've released some newer products that I was more interested in. So if this video goes up, goes up first, then you've already seen that I've played around with this palette by Makeup Revolution, which is a Flawless Fall palette. So I'll link that down below if it's already live. But today, I really wanted to play it around with another release that they came out with, which is the new palettes in collaboration with Soap Does Nails on YouTube. Now she came out with an eyeshadow palette, which is this one I'll go into in a moment. And she also came out with a highlighter palette as well. Which are both very affordable. I believe the eyeshadow palette is only 10 pounds and the highlighter palette is only eight pounds, I think. The eyeshadow palette, it comes with 24 eyeshadows and it comes in this packet like this. Now I did watch her video and she mentioned that she did that she did all the design and all the packaging design etc and I think these are like watermarks or something that she kind of made up and some like paint splatters and things and yeah it just says Soph X on there and then on the back it's got the colours of the eyeshadows oh gosh I can't even open this palette this is what the palette looks like it has that kind of cream finish to it and it's all matte which will definitely get dirty but then on the inside you've got a really big mirror as you can see and then you've got all the eyeshadows and I have played around with it once I think before I literally just swatch them and just try to create an eyeshadow look. So it comes with 24 shadows now some of these are mattes and some of them are shimmers. From what I can see we have 10 shimmer shades and there's one matte which is this like or is it this orange which has some glitter in it but there are 10 actual metallic shades I'd say shimmery shades in this. I do watch her videos from time to time and every time I see her she does tend to do like quite warm looks and you guys know that I really like warm eyeshadow looks so when I saw that she came up with this kind of colour design for her palette I was not surprised to be completely honest with you and yeah I really like the colours she chose and then the highlighter palette this is what she chose as well for the highlighters now I remember watching a video on this and she mentioned that for the highlighters she decided to uh, divide them into medium deep which are these four here and then into fair to light I think skin tone so she's trying to cover all skin tone bases you can see that she has just normal pressed pan eyeshadows and then she's got some baked eyeshadows in this so I think she's got four baked which is one two three four and then the rest are just normal pressed pan eyeshadows so I really wanted to do kind of like well maybe not too much of a chit chatty get rid of me but just testing out these products seeing some thoughts on them oh also I wanted to try out this today this is the new terracotta baking powder that makeup revolution released and it's their darkest powder like their baking powder that they do. Now the reason I was really intrigued by this is because this actually reminds me of this which is the Ben Nye Topaz translucent powder so yeah I thought that these two looked very very similar that's why I wanted to try it out. I don't actually use this that much let's be honest but yeah I really wanted to try it out and see uh, if it was kind of like a dupe. They do look very very similar though. Like, I'm going to try my best to do a lot most of this as a drugstore makeup. Okay, so I've finished priming my face. The foundation I'm gonna to use today is the new Maybelline Superstay Foundation. Uh, I just wanted to go back to using this one. I've already tested this out in another video, another Get Ready With Me video, so I'll try and make that for you. This is coming out in the US, but we've had this for a while now in the UK. It's darker than I normally use, um, but the other shade that they had like way too light so <sighs> struggles with drugstore foundations right <laughs> so the next thing i'm going to do is quickly do my brows so i'm just going to use this l'oreal um brow definer and i've been loving this this is actually my second one i've got the shade i'll let you know in a moment <laughs> I hate doing brows but anyway so the shade that I've actually got in this is ebony and we're gonna go in with some concealer now the concealer I'm gonna use today is one I've actually not used in a very long time but it's the H&M concealer I really like these concealers like oh was it over a year ago now that I first tried out the new H&M makeup range and I loved this concealer so this is the one I'm using it's in chestnut which obviously isn't very dark as well at all but it's more of like a like a highlighting concealer so I thought I'd give it a go and these actually remind me of the Colourpop concealers a bit definitely remind me of Colourpop concealers so if you're looking to maybe try something similar not the exact same thing but something similar 
I'd say these aren't as quick, they're not as fast drying as the ColourPop ones. I think it might be the packaging as well. <laughs> I think I said everything was drugstore, sorry, I meant affordable. And just for comparison purposes, yeah, they're very, very small compared to the ColourPop packaging. So in this one you get 0.07 fluid ounces, so you're actually getting half in this uh, H&M one than you are in the ColourPop one. So. Yeah, but the formula itself actually reminds me a bit of the ColourPop one. So I've been asked what um, brush I use to blend out my concealer, and I just use the Morphe brush G34. I just really like it. I'm sure Real Techniques have their own, like, a similar kind of brush. So that's everything blended out. So I'm going to now go into trying to set this. So I would normally go in with my Laura Mercier powder, but we're going to see how this works for me. This is the Makeup Revolution Terracotta powder. It comes like that, so I kind of need to peel off. So I've just pulled out some in the lid, as you can see there. Tap some off and let's put some on. Oh. It came on quite nicely. I actually thought this was going to be a lot more, what's the word? Yellow. Then it's showing. The only thing I don't like is the lid. Okay, that was a bit much. <laughs> I need to find a way of dispensing this. I'm just going to take my um, Laura Mercier lid. No, I'm just going to put the powder oh gosh, into there for now. So that's it in the Laura Mercier lid, and I think that's just easier for me to work with for now. Slightly more orange than the Laura Mercier medium deep powder. I think it's working okay as a translucent powder. Well, it says it's a baking powder, but you know, I'm just using it all over as my powder today. So that's my face all powdered. I'm definitely impressed with this. What do you guys think? I think it came out quite well. We're gonna go into the eyeshadow. As I said, this is the Soph eyeshadow palette. So we're going to try out the shades in this. Now, it does come with some names, but I can't remember what the names are, guys. So, now, obviously, this is a very affordable palette. Um, if you know Makeup Revolution's quality, generally speaking, I think their eyeshadows are decent quality. Uh, I've not really had any major issues with them. So actually, let's be honest, some of them are hit or miss. Uh, but generally speaking, I've tended to be okay with their shadows. We're going to just put a base colour down and she's got loads of different options here but i think when i tried this out the other day i think this color here was a good base color for me so let's go into that color it's like a camel brown color i'm just going to use that all over my lid so of course on so this would appear more like a transition color maybe but on me it's my skin color <laughs> but i think she did quite well with getting like colors that would match most skin tones here because i did some swatches and they all seem to really show up on me so hmm, i was quite impressed so i brought you in just a bit closer so that's given me a nice like base to work with so the next thing i'm gonna do she's got so many colors guys i really don't know what i'm gonna do with this look but i'm gonna go in to a transition color and i think i'm just gonna build up the transition we're gonna go in first of all with this color here and we're gonna use that as our first transition i don't know if this is gonna show up on me very well the powders do kick up a bit oh it does show up that's good can you see that that's a really nice like natural um, a transition that's giving me a really really lovely color as a transition so I really like this color let's go into this reddish brown shade that's right here and kind of deepen up that transition a bit that's definitely pigmented so that's built up really really nice let's do the other side Right, she's got this bluish brown kind of shade in the pan here so i really want to try it that out so let's go into there so i was using this yesterday and swatching and just you playing around with some of the shadows 
and I realised that that shade, the bluish brown one, actually came up, like, seems to like form a bit of hard pan, so well, it was a bit annoying, but on the lid it looks very pigmented, still. Yeah, I've got loads of fallout from this one, so I can have to tap it off quite a bit. Now I think I'm going to stop there and build up another colour. She's got this pink kind of shade here, which I'm going to try as well. I don't know how this is going to end up looking, but we shall see. So she's got a black shade in this and she's got some browns. So I think I'm going to go into the black and kind of just build it up on the outer V corner. Just slightly. I only dabbed my brush into it. It's quite pigmented actually. And there's a bit of fallout as well with the black. I'm trying to be a bit different <laughs> with my eye looks. So I like it. And I'm just going to go back into brush I used originally, not adding any more product but just kind of blending the edges so it's not so harsh. I'm going to quickly do the other eye and then we can uh, move on. I decided to do some inner corner highlights, I just actually went into like different shades here. I went into these two here and I took a little bit of this gold shade here as well. And So I've now done my eyes, My this eye is watering so it's really not letting me be great right now. <laughs> I think I've done quite well. Now, I'm not a false lash type of girl. Not everyone has to be a false lash type of person. You know, that's completely fine. But yeah, I've just built up loads of mascara. Obviously, if you wore false lashes, then it might look a bit more dramatic. Try to do something a bit different other than my typical warm kind of eyeshadow look. Uh, and yeah, I think it came out quite nicely. So I'm gonna now quickly bronze up my face and I'm gonna use the Rodeo Drive bronzer just to kind of sculpt and warm up my face a bit. Um, this bronzer is so much better than, and I've said this before, the one bits and pieces from Colourpop. I'm actually also gonna go back into this model's own palette. You've seen me use this a couple of times now, you know, build up just a little bit of colour on my cheeks just because I really like that colour. Now we're going to go into the highlighters that she came out with. So these are the highlighters. I'll quickly do some live swatches for you. So, so this is the lightest shade as you can see. Then the next one I'm going to show you is this one here. So that's that one. These are really really pigmented. Then I'm going to show you these two here. These are the baked highlighters. Mm. Uh, the purple one doesn't actually look purple to me for some reason. I don't know, but it just doesn't. So I'm going to show you the deeper ones on this side. Start off with the two here. So this is the regular pressed pan from the deeper shirt side. This is the baked gold. The baked ones don't seem as um, intense. Which is what I've noticed. Then this is the baked rose gold one, which is actually really, really nice. That's the baked rose gold. It's quite cool. And then this is the pressed pan rose goldish kind of one. It looks all right. I mean, they're not as like intense in the swatches. I was gonna go with the purple one, but the purple one doesn't look purple. So I think I'm gonna go with this one on the deep side which is like a rose gold kind of color. Okay, no kick up at all, but very pigmented. Oh, that's really nice. Whoa, can you see that? Let's take the glasses off. That is super pigmented. Whoa. I literally tapped off my brush. I went into it quite hard though, but I did tap it off. And looking on head on doesn't look too out of place. Let's take the tiny bit of the nose area. Whoa, okay, that is super intense. <laughs> so normally I'd go in and blend out the highlight, but actually it blends in quite well. 
I'll be completely honest though and say that these shades don't necessarily work the best for darker skin tones, even the ones that she's catered for them because they do come out quite light and a lot of the shades look quite similar uh, to each other when you actually use them. So I like her goal or intention if that makes sense but I don't think it was executed the best. I wasn't sure what colour to wear on my lips, so I'm gonna use this colour. This is a Super Matte Liquid Lipstick by New Look. And it's coming up to autumn now, so, you know, I like my dark lips. <laughs> that is the look for me. So, overall, I'm really impressed with the highlighter palette. Really like that, definitely recommend that. The eyeshadow palette as well, I really do like it. These are Makeup Revolution formulas, so there wasn't any particular like special formula change or anything, but in terms of the colours, I think she worked really well in choosing really decent colours that I think would work on a lot of different types of people with different skin tones. So most of these colours work really well for me, uh, to be honest, and they show up really nicely on my skin tone. It's definitely impressed with this. Uh, would recommend it. I think it sold out very quickly when they launched it the other day, but I think it's in Super Drugs and she did say that it will be heading into Ulta stores or Ulta, I'm not sure if it's in stores or not, but she said it will be heading into Ulta in October. So definitely keep a lookout for this and it is a permanent palette as well. I'm not too sure about the highlighters. In terms of the terracotta powder, I think it worked quite well for me. I was quite impressed. As I said, it is definitely a dupe for Topaz by Ben Nye. But do you know what? This powder doesn't come out as orange as Topaz. Do you think I prefer this one actually? I'm not even gonna lie. And I think these are five pounds as well. So they did quite well. I did have the banana powder as well, but I didn't I don't like it. It came out too ashy on my skin tone. I would definitely recommend that you try it out if you're in the market for such powders. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think. By the way, I am running a giveaway on my channel, so please make sure you go check it out. I'll put the giveaway details in the video down below for you to check out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do because I would love for you to join. And also make sure you share this video, thumbs up if you liked it, and definitely comment below because I want to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Take care, see you soon. Bye guys. Don't be private, yo. Your friends, they tell you, say, I think nobody. Been searching all around, but I found nobody. Nobody, nobody. Call on me.